power forward. Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And for Dallas, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Green is out there with Jones. And it's Lively in at the center. Curry can't get it to go. And here we are, Brent, right around the midway point of the season. When you play, did you ever hit a rookie wall? I really didn't, Kevin, but it all depends on the minutes that you're playing. If you're coming off the bench for 15 or 20, you probably don't get in that position. But if you are a full-time starter as a rookie and you have that opportunity, man, that schedule, that can mount up on you. Curry against Dungeon. And Dungeon throws it down. And Sean, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve there. Doncic's handles are very impressive. Curry against Doncic. Inside. Here's Green. Looney. Great positioning on the putback. And the lid's off. Uh, they're one for four to begin this one, but that shot might just get them going. Pass to Lively. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Donchich outside. Takes the three. Hangs on the trifecta. Donchich has got five. And it's so hard to take away the three from Doncic. He needs very little space, and if you press up on him, he'll go right around you. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Irving's shot is good. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Wiggins kicks to Green. Six to shoot. It's Curry outside. Sinks the three-pointer. They're almost always layups for Curry at this point. Makes the three look so easy. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it is getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. Curry passes to Looney. Knocked loose. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And here we can check out the score for Luka Doncic. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Williams is checked in for the Mavericks. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. Over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. And he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And he really is the consummate playmate. Always keeping his head on his swivel. Searching for the open man. Completely unselfish basketball play. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Williams can't hit. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Andrew and that Wiggins. one's good. Wiggins. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. On the wing, Irving. One forty-six left here in the opening quarter. And here's Doncic from the arc. Another three for Dallas. Oh, what a nice find by Kyrie that time, balancing his offensive attack. Curry from deep three-point land. Misses the three. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Pass to Irving. The shot from the low post is good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. On the wing, Thompson from downtown. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic left side. Irving for three. Buries the long-range jumper. 
Irving's got seven points in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Curry with it. Now Green defending. They need this, and that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. The Hardaway Juniors checked in for Green. Forty-four seconds left to play in the first quarter. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They have a nine-point lead. They beat the Warriors during their last encounter in San Francisco. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserves. Probably looking for more of the same here. As we know, a deep bench so crucial to any team's success. Corey Joseph's checked in for Curry. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat, in the NBA Finals. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's the killer two-handed slam. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Doncic kicks to Williams. Outside Irving. On the wing, Doncic. And the layup's good off the glass. Doncic has got 13. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played hard. You know who that was. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. We've got more in store for you right after this. just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Dallas. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Charge is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Corey Joseph. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five. 13 feet away. Shot by Pajemski, no good. Dallas leading by nine. Hardaway passes to Curry. Back to Hardaway. Pass to Lively. Six on the shot clock. Perfect. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Well, interviewing former players, they say what they miss most is the camaraderie. What about you, Brent? I would say, Kevin, right behind the camaraderie is another C word, the competition. And there's no doubt that there's only a few ways that you could never feed that. Playing at the highest level, being a member of the National Basketball Association, that's something special. And 
and he makes the first. And Joseph drops them both. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry's. Back to Jones, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. With a break in the action, let's take a peek at the top rebounding teams in the NBA this season. The Warriors, fourth. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. Now, here's Joseph. Defense right on him. Outside for Curry. Off target with his three. Dallas leading by nine. Exum passes to Jones. Back to Exum. Outside Curry. There's the pass to Hardy. On the wing, Jones. Fires the three. And Curry pulls it down. The Warriors shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Over in the corner, Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Passes it to Jones. Here's Curry with the three. And it's Looney with the rebound didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you gotta like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Here's Kaminga. Count the basket. His hard work Kuminga. on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. It's Jones on the way. Pass to Powell. Outside curve. Fires from deep. It's good from long range. And the Mavericks lead by 10. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Here's Curry. Wow, magical Steph moves Curry. inside from Steph Curry. Well, he can score from the perimeter, but Steph also knows how to execute inside. Here's Exum. Warriors with the rebound. This game coming after a loss against the Jets. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. On the wing, Jones. One forty-six left now here on the second. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Averaging less than nine points a game for his career, but Draymond Green does everything else on the basketball court. Brent, I know you admire that. Yeah, of course, the former defensive player of the year, a tremendous playmaker, but the biggest skill, Kevin, is his mouth. He is a great communicator out there to keep this team connected. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Williams, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Green comes in for Dante Exum. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Hardy. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Curry. Then for the Warriors, Sharch has checked in for Looney. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Joseph. Second shot opportunity. Impressive work inside from Doncic. There's no end to the ways Doncic can score. Warriors trail by five. Sharch passes to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. They get the rebound. Can't cash in from close range. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Hardaway, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Curry passes to Wiggins. Curry with the bounce pass to the inside. Sharich. Williams with a defensive effort. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. 
on the way. Kicks to Jones. Outside, Green. The three for Doncic. Williams dishes to Doncic. Feeds it to Green. Tries again. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Green's got his first two points of the night. And certain guys dictate the pace of the game. Doncic as much as anyone. And so that's the end of the first half. It's Dallas up seven. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Luka Doncic has been the story in this one. He ended up with 15 points, three assists, and two rebounds. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. Shaq, what's your take on Dallas? They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing them shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. Hey, Kenny, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? They couldn't get anything from beyond the Obviously, plenty of bad shots, but they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. And, guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Warriors ball. And a chance to now check out the scoring distribution between the front court and the back court players tonight for Dallas. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this back court has kept them in the game. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. And it's Irving with the ball for Dallas. They've held a 12-point lead early. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with Green. And it's Lively in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Doncic right side. Outside, Jones. He kicks to Irving, just five on the clock. Off target from outside. Warriors trail by seven. And Brent, Steph Curry has so much love for this game. He's a true ambassador for the sport. Well, with Steph, anything that he touches seems to turn to gold. I mean, he, he loves hoops no matter what it is, supports the women's games. He's involved with youth athletics in the Play Bay Area and back home in Charlotte. And this guy just loves to see the sport grow as much as he has. On the wing, Jones. Over in the corner, Green. Irving for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Irving's got 15. Answering back. Irving determined to knock down that triple. Curry on the wing. To the middle. Here's Green. And it's Green with the jam. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, 
and then their guard gets let down. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. First one falls for high popping talent from Doncic. We don't see many players with his size and skill set. All three throws good from Doncic. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Powell, he's jacked in for Jones, and it's Exum in for Green. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Here's Exum. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Warriors trail by 10. Timeout called the Warriors. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments, pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. Take a look at the Mavericks. Right now, they've compiled the sixth best record in the conference. And, of course, the Golden State Warriors, five games behind. And, you know, for the Mavericks, this isn't the spot that too many people thought they'd be in this far into the season. They've really turned some heads with their play. Some people out there still thinking they're going to fade as the season goes on, but I'm on the other side of this argument. I think they get even better as we go down the stretch. The Warriors have gone two or four here to start the second half. Here's Pajemski. Still yet to score. Taking a look at some stats for Clay Thompson. His last 10 games, he's putting up about 17 points, three assists, and two rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up. And he's really delivered. Irving passes to Exum. On the wing, Doncic. Back to Exum. Dallas moving it around. Irving's shot is good. It just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Cloak loose, and that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. And let's step back for a second to look at the top shooting point guards in basketball this season. Third is Luka Doncic. Some remarkable shooters in that group. I mean, you know that when you're seeing those types of numbers at the point guard position, you're talking about some very intelligent and patient players. Well, it's about taking smart shots and playing with great control. And that smart shot selection coupled with tremendous pure shooting, that's got them on the top of the list. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes in. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Irving with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. And the dunk by Doncic. And it doesn't take much for Doncic to get hot. And, and once that happens, boy, he is almost unguarded. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Warriors ball. Dallas making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And the Warriors making a change here. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Out of bounds, it'll be Maddox ball. And checking out some numbers for Irving. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. And he's among the top 20 free throw shooters in the league. Doesn't waste many opportunities at the line. And yeah, one of the better three-point shooters in pro basketball. He's killed it from downtown every time we've watched him. Very impressive. Back to Doncic. Exum finds Powell. Over Looney. The shot by Powell, no good. 
Warriors trail by 13. Wiggins surveying the floor. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Dallas has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. No good from Irving. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Pajemski. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Pajemski's got his first points of the game. And that's just a good look from Clay as his teammate was open. Here's Doncic, and Doncic throws it down. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh, attack-minded all the way. Yeah, great read, calls his own number, and then sends it home. And a wide-open look here for Wiggins. Trains the three-pointer. Wiggins has got five points now in the quarter. Getting Wiggins something in the catch and shoot. It's just good offense and keeps him in a good rhythm. Powell kicks to Williams. Pass to Doncic. On the wing, Irving. Over Thompson. Irving, good. Irving's got 20. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Play and another three for Golden three. State. And how about Clay showing off his handle as he finds some open room to get to the score? Exum passes to Powell. Out to Doncic. From the arc, another three for Dallas. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Mavericks lead by 12. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Charge is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. The kick out to Irving. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. And Kyrie looks to be ready for anything that the defense is throwing at him. He's in total control. Here's Sharp. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. Yeah, easy call. First team foul. Shooting Let's take State. a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Mavericks. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. And that one falls from Sharich. And the toughness Sarich provides is an important component, a physical, strong forward who does whatever is asked of him. Charge nails them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Irving kicks to Jones. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Williams passes to Lively. Two points. That one goes. Lively's got the lead up to 14 now for Dallas. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth Play physical Thompson. basketball, guys. Clay reading the floor that time nicely and just took advantage of the soft D on the interior. Dallas moving it around. Outside Hardaway. 
outside Jones just five to shoot Hardaway dishes to Irving from deep another three for Dallas he has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half guys now a timeout called by Golden State Kyrie Irving really making a difference here the defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Green is checked in for the Mavericks. And Golden State also making a change. Corey Joseph's checked in for Clay Thompson. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. Now he was very encouraging toward his guys. He said, look, you're working hard out there, but I need you to keep doing that. Crucial point right here. Give me everything you have so you can expect intensity out of this huddle. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. Curry shot is off. Now his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track. They're going to find a way to win. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Green kicks to Curry. Over Irving. Offensive rebound. Kaminga. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. And the pass to Williams. Irving passes to Green. Two minutes remaining in the game. Hardaway against Joseph. Count it. And the Mavericks lead by 19. We are in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Curry against Irving. It's stolen by Kaminga. And they're on the break. Over Irving. Kaminga, no good. Dallas leading by 17. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It could definitely be considered a statement win for the Mavericks. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this was a great team effort by everyone. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Luka Doncic. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. Down low. And Green with the basket on the assist by Curry. Yeah, it feels like Steph doesn't even have to look. He just knows where his teammates are. Irving looking over the floor. Hardaway against Joseph. The kick out to Williams. Shot clock at five. Here's Hardaway. The Warriors pull it in. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Green finds Joseph, and Curry has it in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're Warriors trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. First team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks, Grant Williams, two shots. Two, two. And that one falls for Williams. And Williams drops them both. 
And so here is Golden State. Charge outside. Here's Kaminga. It's good. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Curry outside. No good. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, DA, thanks again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. See you next time.